It's the last day of the pilgrimage! In May 2016, I made a decision to quit my job and hit the road for two and a half months. In total, I did 6,700 miles. I was gone for 70 days. This was my pilgrimage. Dad is going to join me for the last section. We're going to go over Salaho Pass and uh, go up to Garnet, and hopefully the gate will be open for us this time. Three times the charm. Wow, it's like hella surreal. I don't know how I feel about this. I've been on the road 56 days, Dad. That's freaking crazy, doing the thing. I did, I rolled over 30,000. Oh, no. I missed it, 35 miles ago. The last day of the pilgrimage. After 34 days touring Montana, 3,500 miles in my home state, I couldn't imagine a better way to end the trip than riding the last 244 miles with my father. We headed up Skakahoe Pass and took a little bit of time to take photos at Skakahoe Falls. About five minutes after we stopped, two families showed up after us and I didn't think the guys in that little family group were gonna let us leave because they just kept asking us questions about the bikes. After escaping, we made our traditional stop in Phillipsburg at the candy store because you have to. And we watched tourists and took a little break. And since we had to go north anyway, we took the opportunity to ride that road that goes from Drummond to Helmville that Colin from Number 8 Wire Motorcycles recommended. And it was a blast. From there, we took Highway 200 and headed to Garnet. Now, if you didn't know, I have tried multiple times to go to Garnet. I either end up there way too early and there's still snow, or I end up there way too late and it's closed. Third time is the charm. And just for the record, exploring ghost towns is a lot more funner with another person so you can make ghost noises at each other. Because we're adults. And Mr. Squirly down there, I think he brought that cheese, didn't he? <laughs> July 19th. The pilgrimage is officially over. I am incredibly tired. We put in the longest day on the Montana part of my pilgrimage. 266 miles. My dad joined me on the last leg. Kudos to my dad for hauling butt with me and like not getting home until midnight. But it was good. It was awesome. We did Skakaho Pass. And then we hung out in Phillipsburg and did candy. And then we went up to Garnet Ghost Town and hung out there for a little bit. We had celebratory chicken in Missoula. And then made it the last 50 miles back to the ranch. But it's over and it's very surreal. And I don't know how to feel about it right now. Apart from the fact I'm really excited to sleep in a bed and have heat and not freeze my butt off at 4 o'clock in the morning. Thank you guys for joining me on this trip. I cannot thank everybody enough for all of like the help from complete strangers that I got that are now really close friends of mine. And also just all the love and support from people that I already knew. Um, people in Portland, people in the valley and just, wow. Huge, ginormous thank you to the, my sponsors, Wolfman Luggage, for giving me the bags for my trip. Icon 1000, my helmet, the Airframe Pro, Butler Motorcycle Maps, Rubber Moto, and uh, Greg and Ellis Landscaping. I could not have done this trip without like the help from these people and just, it's freaking crazy. It's a lot to take in right now, but... I'm gonna do the bad thing. I'm thinking about it tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you.
it has officially been a year as of recording this that I finished the pilgrimage and returned to Portland. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this journey and watching these videos. A lot has happened and I've changed a lot, but Lazarus is still here. I still write the people that I met, but I guess that is a story for a different video. I'll see you tomorrow.